I'm going to test the acoustics in here. I appreciate um, everybody coming today. Um, um, it's been a long, it's almost been a couple of years uh, since we lost C1 um, on the other side of the road. Um, at the time, to be honest, I thought it was uh, just, just us that was affected. Um, we live in the CBD and then um, found, you know, we went, went home lost the house, um, moved in with um, our very kind parents for another nine months while we kind of sorted out what we were going to do next, um, which was to set about coming back um, in a way that Christchurch would be proud of, hopefully, um, in a way that um, we could be, um, that C1 could be recognised as being the greatest cafe in the world. That's, that's what we have set out to do. Um, so um, we were fortunate to be here in the High Street Post Office. Uh, we've, um, uh, we're so happy to be in a heritage building and we've tried to bring back all the heritage here. Um, we've got very, uh, we were supported by the council to do that and we're really appreciative of, of the support they gave us to, to get in here and do it. Got great neighbours here with um, Alice and Video Land next door in the new movie theatre um, with the Christchurch Art Gallery above us and the physics room, which is an art space up above there. Um, so a really, hopefully a really dynamic building that people can come to. Um, parking's great in the area now and um, <laughs> get, get lost in the building and, and enjoy themselves here. Um, the, um, uh, we've taken a lot of what we were trying to do with the old C1, but we were restricted by space and probably being concerned about looking like lunatics with um, uh, approaching this project by being environmentally sensitive. So we recycle everything out of our kitchen. We've, we've built the kitchen to be able to do that. We have um, uh, solar panels uh, that were uh, generously supplied and installed uh, for us um, on our roof that generate electricity and heat the water for our, um, for our needs in the kitchen. We um, even recycle all the heat that's normally vented outside of the building back up through these floors. So um, how do we heat an old building like this? Well, we're just using um, all of our, our waste heat to heat this building. The, um, so we've, we've taken a lot of those approaches um, by being environmental as well as being sustainable up on the rooftop here. You might have heard about, um, we've, we've got Black Estate, a Black Estate vineyard essentially up on the roof where the, even the soil and the vines have come out from um, Waipara, Waipara Valley. Uh, we have organic bees, um, spray free. We've got a bee whisperer just over here. Um, <laughs> up on the roof. So we've, we've got a, a very special space um, in this building that tells a lot of stories about um, how we we feel Christchurch can be. So that's, um, that's the one. We couldn't have done that, couldn't have done that without the support of my family. Over there, making the noise. Riding, riding the pony. Any of you with kids will probably push off that pony when you return, so the house and flat. Um, had a lot of support from our, um, we, we have a special project uh, in Samoa where we grow coffee, we source honey, ginger, vanilla um, from Samoa as well as we're working really hard to um, uh, source the fruit juice from, oh, sorry, ingredients for our juice company from there and Andy's here um, has flown from Samoa via the Solomons to join us. So. Um, yeah, it's been a, been a hard road. I appreciate everybody coming in um, and joining us today. And I'd just like to introduce um, Jerry Brownlee and thank him for um, coming to our, our cafe. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sam, uh, first thing is, I'm using this because I want to be recorded, so I'm not sure they got all that wonderful speech from you. But, uh, uh, Sam, uh, thank you for the invitation to be here. And um, I just want to say to you and Fleur, 
uh, thank you for the passion that you have uh, for doing things that are going to make a difference in this city. Um, you know, we look around a, a building like this and see so many bits that uh, are from our past, uh, right down to the tabletops, uh, the lights that came out of the Arts Centre, I believe you were yes, saying. Yep. Um, and that simple but very, very uh, huge goal that you've got to be the world's best cafe uh, and have that world's best cafe located here in Christchurch is something that I hope we all get in behind because uh, it does feel good. Uh, it's a very large cafe, uh, so lots of people can come here. I can imagine uh, already what a wonderful function centre it can become as an adjunct for the city. And um, when you talk about your uh, whole approach to the business, uh, I, I speaking to you before and just over there, uh, it, you create a degree of excitement that I think um, is going to be the essence of rebuilding the city. Uh, and the connections that you've got to the Pacific, uh, we welcome our friends from the Pacific here today particularly, uh, I think are also fantastic. Um, and it's taking that idea of uh, something that's relatively small becoming incredibly big over time. And that's the challenge that sits in front of all of us at the present time. I want to acknowledge uh, Bob Parker, uh, Miris Joe Parker here today. Uh, I'm sure that they would share in the delight of seeing something like this opening in the city uh, that's got a, a, a strong draw for people coming back into this part of town. Um, and you know, over the years we'll have the opportunity to watch uh, the frame develop out to uh, uh, the east uh, and some of the residential buildings that are going to go in there and this place becoming quite a, a hub for a community that's bound to grow up here in time. So really Sam, uh, thank you very much for your efforts. Um, I think the, the uh, I suppose commitment you've made is extremely admirable uh, and to be providing uh, those jobs is, is amazing. I can assure you I will be coming back here frequently. Uh, I love the look of the tables and the feel of the place and I think uh, that will develop over time and uh, that goal I'm sure will be something we all see in no time at all. So Thank congratulations you. my friend, very well done. Thank you,